hope y'all are doing well. Uh, we're picking up today in Ephesians 4, uh, verse 7, picking up from uh, where we left off yesterday and get to spend a few moments with y'all. Um, it was just, I'm encouraged when I'm, when I'm driving in, um, you know, when you get up early here in Covington and Conyers, you can uh, get, get places quicker. So I, I got here pretty quick and I was just uh, thinking about songs to leave this morning. And uh, there's a song that my dad um, used to love and it's just, a, it's a Jeremy Camp song. Um, I think it might be a hymn, uh, but I was thinking in the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise. And so I just wanna lead us in that and then we'll hop into some scripture. Um, it's good to be with y'all this morning. So encouraging in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Just a simple, simple cry. But um, we used to sing that song a lot growing up. Um, but anyway, it's so good to be with y'all. Um, I love that too. When I'm alone, give me Jesus. When I when I come to die, give me Jesus. Um, he's all we need. He's our source. He's our strength. Um, Let's hop into Ephesians 4 uh, this morning. Yesterday we left off, and I'll just kind of review what we talked about yesterday. Paul's writing here. Um, the title of, in, my, in my Bible says, Unity and Maturity in the Body of Christ. And we talked about that a little bit yesterday. But Paul is encouraging, um, he's encouraging us to be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love, make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There's one body and one spirit, just as you were called with one hope. Um, 
uh, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father and all, who is all, uh, who is over all and through all and in all, but to each one of us. So basically, Paul's encouraging us, hey, walk humbly, be gently, be gentle, be patient, uh, extend grace to those that, that need grace, because Christ is extending grace to us. And that's kind of really what we're getting into this today in verse 7. Uh, but to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ appointed it. Uh, that is why that is why it says, when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean? Except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions. He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. So... Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers to equip people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. So there's a lot to unpack there in those um, six, six or so verses um, so yesterday Paul's encouraging us again to, in complete humility and gentleness and patience to love one another, to care for one another, and then giving instruction to, you know, Jesus has left and equipped what it says to be apostles and prophets and teachers and pastors and in that list I think um, we, we don't necessarily use some of those terms in modern day um, I guess we're, we're really all apostles because we're taking we're taking uh, we're, we're followers of Christ we're apprentices of him um, we might not use the word prophets prophets or evangelist well, we use evangelist um, but where I think this morning is there's a there's a list and we have to look where do we where do we find ourselves among this? So Christ Himself gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to equip His people. I think that's what's important is to equip His people. Um, what we do here is the when disciples send um, discipleship to equip His people. We're apostles. We follow after Him. So where, where do you find yourself in that list? You, you may not be a full-time pastor or a full-time minister, um, but you, you may be, um, you may just be um, working in a job, but you're meeting with someone and you're sharing your faith, so you are being an evangelist. Um, and the, the purpose of this is until we all reach unity in the faith. And that's our daily mission and our daily our daily. I guess barometer to measure things with is how today am I, God has set this up, he's left people for generations as Paul is pouring into the church um, here in the early in the early days, it's passed down from generation to generation and it's important because we are still, um, we are still working towards having full unity in the faith we have not we have not fully achieved that so we are working every we're, we're working every day to encourage and find people in our lives that we can um that we can pour into and disciple so to 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 finish this up a little bit this morning um what i would i guess the takeaway for you would how are how today are you going to encourage someone that through humility, we looked at yesterday, humility, faith, and patience. How are you going to take that and lead through that so people see your example, they see Christ in you, and then you're already set up because Christ has left you and he's appointed you, he's called you. Whether or not you're in full-time ministry or not, he's called you to do something. So you found yourself upon that list and you figured out exactly maybe you're a teacher, um, maybe you... Maybe you don't teach in a teacher role, but you you are going to teach someone about the love of Christ until we reach, this is again in verse 13, until we reach unity in the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God 
and become mature and become mature. So we don't want to just stay where we're at. We want to become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of God. Um, I think that's really important is there's a lot too is we, we won't ever attain the fullness of God. We're always going to be pushing towards him. So a little bit in this is keep going. I think Paul is always keep going, keep pushing, keep going, keep moving. And, um, where, where are you this, this morning? Are you, um, what in your path today? Could you maybe encourage someone? Could you lean into, um, could you say they, they definitely know the Lord. I know that, um, for some of you, many of your family members don't even know the Lord. Um, and you have a burden for them and you've been praying for them and, Look for ways today that you can pour into them to find unity in the faith. Um, so we'll we'll pick up um, we'll pick up here tomorrow in verse fourteen, and we'll go from probably verse fourteen to eighteen, and continue in our walk in Ephesians this week. Um, so again, a couple takeaways. Yesterday we talked about loving one another and faith and unity and humbleness walking that way, showing our light in that way. And then today we talked about where's your place and what is your role and how are you going to, to actually take that out and give faith um, and get, have faith in unity in Christ. Um, so I hope that that encourages you this morning. Um, so good to be with you again. Uh, I'll be with you, like I said, all week. And uh, Pastor is... Um, pastor is doing well again and um y'all just be praying that this uh these classes don't kick his kick his behind and uh <laughs> that, that he learns a lot and uh school can be overwhelming i know as i just started school back again so um y'all just be praying for all of us in school um i want to pray for y'all and send you out this morning and uh, i look forward to seeing you in the morning lord i'm so thankful uh, for your scripture. Your scripture does not turn back void. It is, um, it is evident that um, you, God, through the writers in, in the early church, through Paul, um, you had a purpose and a plan. God, your purpose was always to have unity within the body. Um, your purpose was to have unity in the faith. And there's some roles that we have, and there's roles that we play a part in. Um, we may not be, uh, all of us that, that are watching may not be full-time um, ministers or in full-time ministry. However, we're all ministers because we are, um, we all carry the Holy Spirit within us. We all carry the message and hope of the gospel. So God, I pray, Lord, you would encourage each person that's watching or that will watch and give them ways and ideas and how that they can share their faith share their unity, show the light of Christ so that they might be, uh, that they might help in the um, great quest, I guess, to say, uh, in finding unity in their faith in you. And as we lead people, um, God, I pray that you would give us unity, that we wouldn't be divisive, that we wouldn't be divided, that we'd be um, together as one. And um, Lord, I just pray for for each person, again, that's watching, I pray, Lord, you'd bless them. Bless them on this Tuesday morning as they begin their day. And, God, we are looking forward to what you're going to do this week in and through them. And, uh, Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Again, I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow.